Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice Olympia problem? A square minus B equals to 133. B square minus A equals to 133. Let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. And uh, we are finding A and uh, B here. You should note that A, equal, A is not equal to B from here. Then, let's subtract equation 1 and 2. So, equation 1 minus 2 equation 1 minus equation 2 so on the left we have equation 1 that's a square minus b then minus equation 2 that's b square minus a then equals to on the right hand side 133 minus 133 that's 0 then by the time we solve this we have minus a open this bracket so this become a square minus b then minus b square plus a will be equals to zero now let's bring square together so we have a square minus b square then plus a here minus b equals to zero we can factorize this from difference of two squares so this will give us a plus b times a minus b this you factorize it then plus a minus b and equals to zero so from here we factorize a minus b out so we have a minus b out then what is left here is a plus b then what is left here is plus one which is equal to zero so here we have two cases we have a minus b equal to zero or we have a plus b plus one equals to zero so from here we have a equals to b and we have understood from the beginning that a here is not equals to b so here we don't have any thing to work with there so here let's take minus one here we now have a plus b is equals to minus one now let's leave it here as equation three now in the next step let's add the two equations as well we have equation one plus equation two so when we add the left hand side we add we have a square minus b for equation one then plus that equation two we have b square minus a equals to 133 plus 133 and here we are going to have when we rearrange bringing the squares together so we are going to have here a square plus b square then minus a minus b will be equals to 266 from here then in the next step we can take minus a minus b to that side so it become plus a then plus b such that what we have left here is a square plus b square now equals to 266 plus a plus b and from here we have a plus b and the uh, a plus b from equation 3 is minus 1 so when we bring that here we have a square plus b square will now be equals to 266 minus 1 then here we cannot say that a square plus b square is now equals to 265 so let's call this equation 4 and uh, also from this equation 3 now let's find a b by squaring both sides let's square both sides of equation 3 so we have equation 3 as a plus b equals to minus 1 when we square both sides from here we square this side and we square this side the expansion of here will give us a square plus b square then plus 2 a b then equals to when we square minus one that will give us one then from here we have a square plus b square to be 265 so when we substitute that that this a square plus b square replace that with 265 then plus 2 a b now equals to one so take 265 to this side and this will become 2 a b equals to 1 minus 265 and by the time we solve from here we have 
two a b equals to minus two sixty four and divide both side by two we have a b will be equals to minus one thirty two so we have a b to be one thirty two so we should get a minus b then from this identity a minus b squared the expansion here gives us a squared plus b squared minus 2ab and uh, we already know ab a squared plus b squared to be 265 then minus 2ab that's 2 times ab and ab is minus 132 then we have this equals to a minus b all squared so when we solve this side here we have 265 then minus times minus that's plus then 2 times 132 that gives us 264 so when we add this together from here this gives us a minus b square we then give us 529 so when we now take the square root on both sides so square root on this side cancel square cancel square root we have a minus b equals to plus or minus 23 here then we have two cases here we have the fourth to be a minus b equals to 23 and uh, the second to be a minus b equals to minus 23 then when we solve this together with equation 3 that we have earlier that is from equation 3 we have a plus b equals to minus 1 also we have a plus b equals to minus 1 when we solve this simultaneous equation from here by adding adding this equation we have a plus a here will be 2a then b has cancelled out then we have 23 minus 1 that's 22 divide both side by a on this side we have a equals to 11 and we can equally get the value of b here from this equation which is a plus b equals to minus 1 to get b now take a to this side so we then have b to be equals to minus 1 then minus a so using this now and a is 11 here then b will now be equals to minus 1 minus 11 and the minus 1 minus 11 here is minus 12 so b here is minus 12 and also on this side we can solve this equation as well by eliminating b adding both equations this become 2a then equals to minus 23 minus 1 that's minus 24 so divide both sides by 2 here a will be equals to minus 12 and also solving for a from this equation solving for b rather from this equation so b will now be equals to minus 1 then minus a that's minus minus 12 and here b will now be equals to minus 1 plus 12 and the b is equals to 12 minus 1 which is 11 so here we can now conclude that the solutions to this problem will give us the first set we have a b which is equals to 11 comma minus 12 and also we have the second set that this a b is also equals to a is minus 12 here then b is 11 we can take any of the solution and try to confirm from the equations given whether it satisfies the equation thank you for watching also give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel in order not to mix out see you in the next class and bye for now